What up techies? Welcome back. One of the most famous time paradoxes in science fiction history is that if you were to travel faster than light, you would arrive at your destination before you even left. While this may sound like something out of a sci-fi movie, it's based on real physics principles. The concept of traveling across space captivates scientists and ordinary people alike. But they all face an obstacle in terms of time paradoxes when considering what happens while going faster than light speed which can lead to other complications. One such challenge is getting attention right now. It's a difficult problem with potential side effects like those caused by travel at speeds greater than the speed of light. Let us explain more. The speed at which light travels while it is passing through a vacuum is 983,571, 56 feet per second. That equates to around 186,282 miles per second, a universal constant referred to as C, which stands for light speed. The special theory of relativity, developed by the physicist Albert Einstein and used as the foundation for much of today's physics, states that nothing in the universe can move faster than the speed of light. According to this hypothesis, the mass of a piece of substance expands to infinity as it gets closer and closer to the speed of light. This indicates that the speed of light serves as a speed restriction across the cosmos. According to the United States National Institute of Standards and Technology, the speed of light is so constant that it is used to create international standard measurements such as the meter and, by extension, the mile, the foot, and the inch. This is because the speed of light cannot change. However, despite the widespread belief that the speed of light is the only constant in the universe, scientists and authors of science fiction devote much thought to the possibility of traveling at speeds greater than that of light. Our collective progress toward new stories, new technologies, and new realms of physics has not been hampered by the fact that no one has been able to show a real warp drive as of yet. Nonetheless, this has not stopped our progress. A light year is equal to approximately 6 trillion miles and is the distance that light can travel in one year. Astronomers and physicists use this as one method for measuring the vast distances across our cosmos. It takes approximately one second for light to travel from the moon to our eyes which indicates that the moon is approximately one light second away from us. The sun takes around eight minutes to reach our eyes, which indicates that the sun is approximately eight light minutes away. The distance between our solar system and the stars and other objects that exist beyond it can range anywhere from a few light years to a few billion light years. Moreover, everything that astronomers see in the extremely remote universe has already occurred. When astronomers examine objects that are very far away, they look at the light that depicts the objects as they were when the light left them. This light has traveled a very long distance. Because of this principle, astronomers can reconstruct the appearance of the universe shortly after the Big Bang, which took place approximately 13.8 billion years ago. Astronomers say that objects 10 billion light years away from us seem to them precisely as they do now. At least two Greek philosophers, such as Empedocles and Aristotle, were at odds with one another on the nature of light speed as early as the 5th century BC. As a result, Empedocles put forward the hypothesis that light, regardless of what it was composed of, had to travel, and as a result, must have a speed of motion. Aristotle's dissertation on sense, and the sensible contains a refutation of Empedocles' notion. Aristotle argues that light perception, in contrast to sound and scent, must be immediate. It is obvious that Aristotle was incorrect but it will be several hundred years before anyone can demonstrate this. Albert Einstein was the first person who contributed significantly to our understanding of the fundamental properties of light. The special theory of relativity, the famous equation that unifies energy, matter, and the speed of light is known as E equals mc squared, and it was developed as part of Einstein's theory of special relativity. This equation describes the link between mass and energy by stating that even relatively modest amounts of mass contain or are composed of a tremendous quantity of energy and of themselves. Since energy is defined as the product of mass multiplied by the square of the speed of light, the speed of light can be thought of as a conversion factor that explains just how much energy must be present in matter. In addition, given that the speed of light is such an enormous figure, even minute amounts of mass must be equivalent to enormous amounts of energy. Einstein's elegant equation stipulates that the speed of light must remain unchangeable at all times if it is to provide a correct description of the universe. Einstein postulated that light traveled through a vacuum and not some form of luminiferous ether, and that it did so in such a way that its speed remained constant regardless of the velocity at which an observer was traveling. Imagine a situation like this. Observers traveling on a train could look out the window at another train running along a parallel track and conclude that the other train is not moving relative to them at all. 
However, spectators traveling at speeds approaching that of light would still get the impression that light is receding from them at a rate of over 670 million miles per hour. This is because one of the only verified methods of time travel involves traveling exceedingly quickly. When this occurs, time moves more slowly for those viewers, who will age more slowly and perceive fewer moments than an observer going more slowly. Einstein hypothesized that the speed of light was constant regardless of the time, place, or velocity at which it was measured. In other words, he believed that the speed of light was unaffected by any of these factors. As a result, anything that has mass will never be able to travel at the speed of light. If something ever managed to travel at the speed of light, it would have a limitless amount of mass. Consequently, the amount of energy needed to move the object would also reach an endless level, which is not conceivable. Suppose we base our understanding of physics on the theory of special relativity, as most contemporary scientists do. In that case, this indicates that the speed of light is the unchangeable speed limit of our world, and is the fastest that anything can travel. The concept of warp speed is very popular in science fiction. The ability to travel at speeds greater than the speed of light enables the creation of many sci-fi franchises by condensing the wide reaches of space and making it simpler for characters to move quickly between star systems. However, to make travel at a speed greater than the speed of light a reality, we would have to use some unconventional physical principles. To the delight of fans of science fiction and those who study theoretical physics, there are many paths to investigate. The only thing that remains for us is to figure out how to move the space around us rather than ourselves, given that special relativity would guarantee that we would be long destroyed before we achieved a fast enough speed. Imagine a starship that is capable of folding a space-time bubble around itself. It sounds beautiful, both in terms of theory and fiction. Even if we can devise a method of traveling at a speed greater than the speed of light, there is a possibility that this will result in some peculiar time paradoxes that are worthy of further investigation. The grandfather paradox is an example of one of them. If someone traveled back in time, they might encounter this logical conundrum if they tried to change something that happened in the past. The name derives from the theory that if a person traveled back in time to a point before their grandpa had children and murdered him, it would make it impossible for that person to have their own children in the future. Therefore, if traveling across time is conceivable, there must be a way to circumvent this paradox. The once promising student ultimately turns out to be the person the teacher stole the theorem from in the first place. The post-selected model of time travel incorporates a warped probability that is very close to any paradoxical scenario. This model of time travel is also an option. What exactly does this entail? To put it more simply, this time travel concept would make the grandfather essentially immune to death and some quantum fluctuation would take place to prevent a paradoxical circumstance. Nevertheless, there is still a third possibility. According to quantum theory, if you travel into the past or the future, you may simply be entering a parallel reality. Imagine it as a separate play area with sand. In this sandbox, you are free to construct or demolish as many castles as you like, but it would have no impact whatsoever on the one you play in at home. Similarly, a person may go back in time, kill their grandfather, and there would be no repercussions in their universe. Many possible problems could arise from traveling faster than the speed of light, and these are just a few examples. Assuming this is possible, however, this technology is still far from becoming available. You might want to watch this video again if you found it fascinating. Is it possible to travel back and forth through time? Please feel free to add your thoughts in the space provided.